We started preparing for this year's SRIC season when last year's ended. We do an assessment of our equipment. We look at our budgets at what we spent, how much salt we used. Last year in April, we do this to plan for the next year. Our sheds have been full since April. Our plows are cleaned and put up so they're in good shape for the, for the summer. And we started discussing details about our snow and ice season in July when most people are out on vacation. We were already thinking about snow. It can be real difficult at times, at times not so, but when you get a deep snow and everybody's in a hurry and they don't want to give you room and they don't realize that they can stop their vehicle a lot shorter distance than you can stop your vehicle and, and just crowding you, you know, to where you, you know, we want to get the road as clear, as fast as possible, as safe as possible and get out of the traffic's way. Hey, don't crowd us. Be a little bit patient with us because I promise you, as soon as we can get the road clear, we'll be out of your way. But supervision says we don't get out of nobody's way until the road's clear. <laughs> Well, I think a lot of people think that, you know, that we can just clear the roads in a little bit of no time, and it's, you know, the harder the snow, the harder it is to clear the roads. We put every truck out that we have. We put it on the road with a driver in it. We use every bit of salt we can. Uh, it's our goal to get the roads as clear and plowed and treated as quickly as possible. There are times you will, you will find a truck that's on the side of the road and it may appear a certain way, but there's always a reason behind it. Our guys work hard. They're doing their best in a very dangerous job. We drive the same roads they do. Our family drives the same roads. We just want to make it as safe as possible for everyone. If, if anyone's ever driven their car home from work in a snowstorm, they know that during that 30 minute or hour drive, visibility is low, uh, the road's treacherous, you're scared what the other drivers are doing. 
you're, you're just a ball of nerves for 30 minutes to an hour. Our guys do that for 12 hours straight, sometimes up to 50 straight days without a day off. It is not an easy job. It's, it's very difficult, it's dangerous. We go out on a road that has a foot of snow on it with an inch of ice under it. It hasn't been touched and we tell that driver, I need that road passable when you leave. Um, it's on mountain roads, one lane roads with limited amounts of guardrail. Uh, we're lucky that our drivers are very cautious and skilled and, and we have uh, a rare amount of accidents. We started preparing for this year's SRIC season when last year's ended. We do an assessment of our equipment. We look at our budgets at what we spent, how much salt we used. Last year in April, we do this to plan for the next year. Our sheds have been full since April. Our plows are cleaned and put up so they're in good shape for the, for the summer. And we started discussing details about our snow and ice season in July when most people are out on vacation we were already thinking about snow. The, the, if in a perfect world we could ask everybody to just stay home and allow us to clear the roads. However, that's not practical or reasonable. We ask that the drivers give us plenty of space around our trucks. I mean, you, we're talking about a, a vehicle that can weigh up to 40 tons with a plow mounted on the front of it. It's a very dangerous piece of equipment. We ask that they slow down, period, because that ensures that it increases their likelihood of being safe and making it home every day. And just to try to be understanding, uh, when I plow my driveway with a shovel, I start and it takes me a certain amount of time to get to the end. It's not magically plowed the minute I start and we don't have any magic like that out here too. It takes a lot of hard work and effort.